The icy windswept Antarctic may not naturally be considered a window to the evolution of life's diversity. But the Southern Ocean and islands which surround Antarctica are teeming with some of the most unique biodiversity on our planet. As a scientist, the burning question for me has always been, how did this biodiversity evolve in such a harsh, remote and wild region of the world, both below the sea and on land? We've known for some time that as the Southern Ocean rapidly cooled over the last 15 million years, marine animals, including ice fish, crustaceans and brittle stars, evolved into an incredible array of species. This process of speciation was driven by ice periodically growing over the sea floor and separating populations, and partly by new opportunities opening up when species less adapted to the cold went extinct. Remarkably, we now have evidence that this very same process, a climate-driven species pump of sorts, happened on land too. Beetles, which colonised the Southern Ocean Islands around 50 million years ago, show a dramatic upturn in speciation rates, right around the same time many marine groups started to diversify, and when global temperatures began to plummet. The speciation of these beetles, like the marine animals, even accelerated as the climate continued to cool, notably when the islands they lived on routinely became covered in ice, just like the sea floor. These beetles have the unique ability to feed on lichen and moss, the very plants that began to prevail as snow and ice forced many flowering plants on the islands to extinction. Finding such a convincing link between such vastly different animals, both below the sea and above, is an exciting step forward in understanding how life evolved at the bottom of our planet. It seems increasingly likely that icy temperatures, which may seem inhospitable to us, are exactly what led to the remarkable and unique biodiversity we see across the Antarctic today.